Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is a Galaxy Note 4. It's a really nice phone. It's called a phablet by some people, which is a crossover between a phone and a tablet. And it's really improved compared to the previous edition, the Galaxy Note 3. So I'm going to show you three things on this phone. The display, the S Pen, and the camera. All three of them are really nice, and they are the standout features of this device. But first things first is the build quality. Really, really nice construction. It's much better than the Galaxy Note 3, which we saw last year. If you like the Galaxy Note 2, the Galaxy Note 3, or the original Galaxy Note, you're gonna love this device. Now, if you're going to buy this device, I hope you use the S Pen, because it is the most unique feature of this phone. You pull it out, and you can actually do things on the screen that you just simply can't with your fingers. My fingers are pretty big. It's pretty tough for me to actually pick at really small icons or to draw with it of course. Now with the S Pen you can actually do things really finely. So here we have a little pen selected using the notes application and it's pressure sensitive so as you can see as I draw here I can do really fine lines or if I press down I can get thicker and thicker and thicker as I go. Now why is that important? It makes your handwriting look a lot more realistic as if you're using a real pen. It also gives you the ability to draw a lot better. The first time we saw the Galaxy Note, the drawings looked kind of cartoonish. I don't have the artistic skills to make the best of this, the most of this, but somebody that does could really draw something interesting with it. You can of course select different pens and you can perform different functions with this pen. For example, we can go ahead and just press this little button on the side of the pen and you can make memos out of it. You can take a screenshot, image clips of websites, etc. Let's go ahead and create a memo. And we can do things like say, uh, call home. Now I'm not gonna give you guys my home phone number, but if you go ahead and link an action to it, you can actually assign a contact method or a location or a website save this, it sort of shrinks this down into a widget that, store, that, that, that is stored on the home screen and it serves as a sort of like a note on your refrigerator door. Every time you open up your phone, you're gonna see that until it's complete. Really nice little feature. Um, you can take screenshots with this pen, draw with it, use it as a pointer just to navigate around the phone, but it's a really, really nice uh, little piece of technology. Now, like I said, if you're not gonna use this, if you don't have any reason whatsoever, you can't imagine wanting to use the pen with your phone, Probably not the right phone for you. Uh, it does take up a little bit of room in here, a little bit of uh, thickness is added to the device, but it's worth the trade-off if you're actually going to use it. Now the other thing I mentioned here is the display. The display is absolutely gorgeous. It's a 5.7 inch display. It's a little bit bigger than the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to hold than the iPhone 6 Plus because it is thicker as I mentioned. So it's a little challenging. I recommend to people that if you can't comfortably touch your, your finger to your middle finger to your thumb, then the phone is going to be too big for you to use comfortably because you can't get to both sides of the screen without really reaching. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the camera app here and just talk a little bit about the camera and how I've been using it. Now, the results I've had have been pretty darn good, um, but they haven't been as crisp as the iPhone 6 Plus, especially with low light. I was at a birthday party, a kid's birthday party, I brought it to a car show, I brought it to a Giants game, and I kept on finding myself reaching for the iPhone 6 Plus when I had to shoot in challenging light. Now, I don't expect this to be a DSLR or anything, but you'd hope that would keep up with the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. Now, given that, when we do shoot, when I did shoot with this phone, I got really good results as long as there was decent light. So, as I mentioned, I brought my kid to a car show, and the results are pretty good. Um, very sharp and just absolutely amazing that you can do this kind of work on a camera phone. Um, as you can see, I can zoom right in here and you can see the pretty sharp, let's go over to the steering wheel. You can see the little holes in the steering wheel here. Um, really good quality overall. Very happy with this. Now, it's kind of a tough competition because iPhones, iPhones are known for having such good cameras, but the one area that I really like about this phone is actually not pictures with the camera, but actually the videos. The videos are really quite good. Here's a still shot of some flower, a flower bouquet, and you can get right in here, and it's just pretty incredible how 
much you can zoom in digitally. Now, Samsung does advertise that this has an eight times digital zoom. Not really crazy about it. A couple of problems I have with it is that the image quality just isn't that good when you zoom in at 8, 8x. Um, took a picture, for example, here at the ball game. And yes, you can kind of sort of make out the numbers on the back of the baseball players. Uh, but if you zoom in or look at it, you can actually see that it's really, really pixelated. It's not really much use except for to sort of say, hey, look, everybody has other baseball game, we're at a concert. Um, the, the image quality on the videos is quite good. We got really, really nice blacks. It was really nicely detailed. Let me go over here and see if I can play one of these here. And it probably won't translate here, but the, this display probably has a higher resolution than the camera I'm shooting this with and the display you're watching this on. But let's go ahead and hit play. And you'll see that at this baseball game, this is the Giants playing in the National League Championship Series, that the night background, the blacks are just really, really black. Uh, and it's balanced really well, and you're getting a lot of detail in the crowd, which is dimly lit. Um, so I'm really pleasantly surprised by these results. Um, here we go again, I'm just sort of playing with the zooming, digital zoom. When we zoom in, all the players got really blurry really fast. I don't recommend using the digital zoom unless you really have to, but really, really nice results for a camera phone. The display itself, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's arguably better than any other phone out there, including the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, but it is a matter of opinion. You're, you're gonna wanna put your own eyes on this phone or on the iPhone 6 if you really wanna get a taste of what it's like in person. It will not translate over via this video, but take my word on it. If you are watching movies, looking at a lot of photos, spending a lot of time with your eyes on your phone, this this uh, display is not going to disappoint you.